uh, by brokers that, for whatever reason, weren't as concerned with customer service as, as perhaps they need to be. Anytime something like that happens, it's a black eye for the industry. Uh, so the better that we can be at giving the customer a good experience, the better it is for everybody. Um, I'll give you one example. This is something that I'm sure many of you who are you know, answering phones on the front line with customers deal with all the time. You sell a customer through you know, Ticket Network Direct, and you know, you're selling them a you know, ticket that has $35 printed on it, you know, maybe with fees and everything, it was $50, $55. You sold it for $100, and they paid $15 in services, whatever. So you get a call from them saying, why did I just pay $120 for a ticket that cost you $35? Every day. And I know that you know, some of you guys may refer those calls to Ticket Network. Um, I would strongly, strongly encourage you, deal with those calls yourself. I mean, you can turn a customer that is you know, unhappy into a customer that understands what went into the cost of that ticket, why it's priced that way. I mean, sure, the, the, uh, you know, the, the impulse sometimes with the nasty customers who are you know, impatient or just rude or whatever might be to say, you know, well, my kids have to go to college or you know, I've got to pay for my house, don't I? But you know, that's not the answer they're looking for, right? I mean, the answer they're looking for is that the $35 ticket really cost you know, $55 and that was if you could have gotten it the minute it went on sale as I did. Um, you know, not if you went 10 minutes later or a week later or two weeks later or two months later, which is when you bought the tickets for me.